Um, so I graduated from the University of Nottingham um, with an MA in Geography and then went into a career of procurement. Um, the reason I went into procurement was because I love working with people um, and it's a job that gets you out and about talking to suppliers, stakeholders, new businesses. Um, and then it has a legal element to it as well. And that was something I'd really enjoyed studying at university. Um, during my time in procurement over the last nine, 10 years, I've been working in retail organizations um, and I've kind of become an expert, for want of a better word, in purchasing for uh, professional services and retail. Um, during this time, I became chartered in the Institute of uh, Procurement and Supply. I completed my Six Sigma to my black belt um, and I joined um, quite a few women in business networks. It was something I was quite passionate about. And then most recently in my career, I've um, joined a supplier diversity council for the UK. Um, and what I want to do and what I'm focusing on right now is how we bring diversity into um, retail organisations, supply chains. Um, and that's something I'm, I'm really enjoying and looking forward to. Um, and then this year, I've been fortunate enough to have been awarded the Young Talent of the um, Year Award by um, the SIPS Institute, which is something I'm immensely proud of um, and has kind of driven me to carry on with my career in procurement. So whilst I was at Henley, I was studying for um, an MA in leadership and there was a lot of theories and tools that were extremely useful um, for me, in particular situational leadership, which is something that I now use every day. Um, so it's been a huge help um, and something I really enjoyed learning about. But the main takeaway for me um, was what I could learn from having alumni and like-minded individuals that I can connect with who have different perspectives on things that I am challenged with in day to day in my job. So we could discuss things formally and action learning sets, which was something that was new to me. Um, and I really enjoyed not only hearing other people's ideas and perspectives on um, some of my challenges, but also trying to help other people with theirs. And then from that as well, I've kind of set up informal um, meetings with people from the university that have really helped me to look at things uh, from a different point of view. And I find that invaluable um, when working to, to be able to gain insight from other people's um, points of view. So I think this is something I'll carry on for the rest of my career, um, hopefully with other people from Henley. Um, but yeah, there was a lot of theories and tools that I learned from the actual leadership content. But my biggest takeaway was um, what I could learn from other people at the university. So I'm motivated firstly um, by having a challenge. So I really like to push myself um, and kind of compete with myself to keep learning. But part of that is wanting to be known as an expert. So I constantly challenge myself to define what an expert in my field um, is. But I believe the best way to be an expert in anything is to keep learning um, and to be open to new ideas, new information, um, new ways of doing things. Um, and then I'm inspired, secondly, by my family. Um, so during my time at Henley, I was um, doing my dissertation for my MA in leadership um, and I had a baby boy and he motivated me hugely. Um, firstly, to complete the course at a speed that I don't think anyone was prepared for. Um, but secondly, to, to make him proud uh, and to show him you know, what you can achieve if you set your mind to something um, and you, you have the support of those around you. So it's twofold. Um, um, one's my family and one is to keep challenging myself um, and to become an expert in my field of work. <laughs>